What's up with it, y'all? Lord Original came in tapping with y'all. I ain't gonna do no capping with y'all. And I um, wanna tell this story, man, and how we uh scammed the JPay system out of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and made my cousin go to PC. Uh, this shit is all facts. This shit is you can look this up on Google. So everybody already been caught, so it's not like I'm telling on nobody or nothing. Alright, so let me start from the beginning. When I'm on minimum, you know what I mean? Everybody always asking me, they always asking me like, hey, you related to, um, they keep asking me about the same inmate, am I related to him? Because they say, because they seem we had the same last name, and we was both from California, all the way out in Idaho, and we, we looked alike. I ain't gonna lie, and I was like, nah, I don't know him, man, I don't got, I don't got no family out from San Diego or nothing. They said he was from San Diego. You know what I mean? I'm like, no, nah, I don't got no family out here. I don't know who that dude is. Everybody kept asking me, people who don't who don't know each other and all that. So uh, one day he gets moved over to our prison where we at, you know what I mean? And he, uh, he come up to me like, hey man, like, that's crazy, man. We look alike, and I ain't gonna lie, we, we did. He like, yeah, man. I think we. He like, like, where your family from? Like, I'm like, yeah, you know, my family with that last name, you know, they from Arkansas. He's like, oh yeah, me too, and all that shit. So I'm not even thinking nothing about it. And he like, yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna call in. I'm gonna call my people and see. Woo -woo -woo. I'm not thinking nothing. Of it. I'm like, man, this motherfucker ain't my cousin. What's the, what's the. Uh, chances of me running into my cousin all the way out here you know what i'm saying and i never heard of this motherfucker you know what i mean and uh so he calls and then he comes back and he says details and he start asking me all this stuff to where there's no way it was it was like my grandpa and his dad is cousin so we like third cousins or some shit like that so okay so from there from then he was like hey yeah man hey i know how to uh he was like hey i know how to put because we had these little tablets in there where we could listen to music and all that shit you know what i'm saying but you had to pay for the music and you you could text but you had to pay for every text it was like 50 cents he's like hey man i got the sauce on how to uh how to uh put free money on your phone and i'm like i'm not on your phone but free money on your tablet so you can get free songs and shit i know my and um I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah. But I didn't want to do it because I was about to get out anyway. You know what I mean? I was about to get out in like six months or some shit. I was about to get out. So I'm like, I didn't want to do nothing because I still had, you know, parole hanging over my head. And if you if you get a write up or something, they'll try to, you know, that's the way they do it out there. They'll give you, they'll make you max out or give you an extra year or something like that. So I'm like, no. Nah. But uh, he start, he go around telling everybody. So we got everybody doing it. He charging people, you know, to do it. He charging a percentage to do it. People is, he got everybody doing it on the compound. Everybody doing it, man. He sold the sauce to every race. So now everybody doing it, the whole compound. Motherfuckers putting 500 on their shit, 1,000, 10,000, and, um, Everything is all good, so I'm like, fuck, man, fuck it. I don't know. I was like, fuck, man, I want some new songs, man. Shit, my dumbass put that shit on. I put it on there. I put that shit on my uh, on my uh, JPEG. Then, you know, a couple weeks go by, maybe a month. You know, ain't no, still going. Ain't nobody thinking about that shit. Then one day they start calling everybody. They start. They call like 30 motherfuckers over the intercom telling them to pack their stuff up. You going, you leaving this minimum custody facility, you're going to medium. The only reason that would happen is if you got in trouble, fight or something like that. So we figured they didn't say what it was for. So we just like, damn, is it for that? Because they calling everybody. You know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, man, because I couldn't get in trouble. I was about to have to go to, uh, you know, parole board. Man... Tell me why the day of me having to go to parole board, they tell me, hey, pack your shit up. You about to go to, you know, medium. I'm like, oh, fuck. 
You know what I mean? They found out. You know what I mean? Come to find out, the shit was on the news, all that shit, man. I guess the whole prison system ended up getting like $225,000 in JPay, free, free music, all that shit. Uh, but after that, they knew he was the, uh, I guess they figured out he was the, the, my long lost cousin. They figured out he was the fucking, the, you know, the brains of the whole shit. And he ended up telling on everybody, telling them how he did it and all that shit, how, who taught him. So after that, motherfuckers, you know, press, beat him up. He had to, he was in protective custody. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy thing about it is he was fucking dumb because he was already in there five years. He had to, uh, he was about to get out too. He, he had to end up doing, I guess, like five, three more years or some shit like that when he was about to get out. He was trying to get some money, but yeah, it made his ass. Yeah, that's how I go. Even so, I don't know, man. I ain't talked to him since, though. You know what I mean? I asked my grandma when I got out, like, hey, you know about his, you know, because it's related on my dad's, on my on my grandpa's side, you know. So my grandma, she like, yeah, but I don't really mess with them people, so I guess we is related and shit, man. But shit, cuzo, if you see this shit, keep your snitch ass the fuck away from me, man. I ain't even playing. That was some janky shit you did. And then, cold thing, after that, motherfuckers seen my last name. Uh, motherfuckers was plotting on me at first when I went to the uh, other yard. You know what I'm saying? So that's how shit could get tricky fast. But they like, nah, that's not, nah, that's not that one. That's the solid dude right there. You know what I'm talking about? But um, yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna be coming with some more shit for y'all. Alright, gone.